Oh yes, please, please. Please. Building a one-man startup on AWS in the future. Let me ask you. Have you used AWS? You need whole team to set this up. No, you can't just use Heroku. If you want to have scalable projects, you're going to want to think about Kubernetes, Cassandra, Kafka, Spark. I have 35.5 years in the industry. Experience. I have done everything. Huge mobile apps, huge local only web platforms, data integration, data processing, data knowledge, big data integration systems, holistic holistic, big data, integration, edge computed, next gen, hybrid native systems, huge deficient data migration, distributed monolith platforms, cloud computed, cloud services, load testing for data centers, data center testing for load centers, everything from Raspberry Pi to IBM Watson, from pacemaker firmware to NFT scam. I have used all used databases and Neo4j. Last year I did huge data migration project and you know what it cost? You know what it cost? 180,000 AWS credits. That's why we get paid the big dollars. Of course it was never launched to the real world, only corporate internal project. Let me give you a metaphor. Facebook, hear me out. We want to store the data fail safe, redundant, at the edge, hybrid native, cross performant, distributed at the edge in the cloud redundant you got to think about processes security practices data management data integration deployment pipeline processes redis jenkins postgres elasticsearch continuous integration git actions won't get you very far you need whole deployment team devops team you need the devops guy available on call 24 7. another guy for the rest and the third guy because you can't trust the second guy listen javascript you want to use something like java you want to use something that's really statically typed file safe like java not like rust rust is playmobil right now no integration no adaption you need testing in place i'm talking about white box testing black box testing hot box testing non-functional testing endurance testing spike testing availability testing stress testing test Test testing, UI does not matter at this stage. You got to think about processes. You got to have processes in place. You want to first get your requirements correct. You need requirements manager, requirements managing process. You need whole team just for requirements, acquirements. And you need whole team to control that team. Another team to control that control team. You need whole team for deployment pipeline. Another team for integration pipeline. You need testing systems in place. V model. Code implementation comes at the very end, usually done by one person. Agile? Agile. Agile is no good here. You want something that's stable. You need processes in place. I will tell you what you do with Agile. You look at your code, you look at the trash bin, you throw in the trash bin. Microservices, and then your code looks like Twitter. If you don't plan to sell your company, you don't use children's magic like microservices. What is this? Processes, verification, validation. V model, Sufisa. Business requirements, systems requirements, high level, low level, high level design, coding, unit testing, functional testing, integration testing, scalability testing, system testing, acceptance testing. Yeah, but it works is not non-functional requirement. You need maintainability, reliability, scalability, localization, user acceptance, usability, compatibility, performance, scalability, acceptability, reliability, maintainability, portability, quality, safety, mamma mia. What is documentation? Validation. You need verification. If you don't do that, you know what you do? You're doing code trashification. What can I do? Everybody uses file safe systems. Amazon S3, Uber S3, Netflix S3. No, you can't just use that. You know what you're going to do? Uh, you're gonna take uh, S3, Docker, Kubernetes. You need whole team to set this up. And we did not even get to talk about databases. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Load testing, 
spike testing, UI comes after concept stage. I know I'm making all of this sound very simple, but you shouldn't be there to fix that. You should be doing all of this in concept stage. V model. In a V model, you go forward a step, you go back a step, you fight a little bit, and so on and so forth, until user acceptance testing, OAT. Repeat, you will need a working plan. Remember, Bishl Sufisa, it's an acronym for V model, waterfall. Lean startup, lean startup, and then your code looks like Twitter. Am I being too elaborate? What you got to do is uh, take uh, processes, 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 V model, data integration, pipeline, requirements, acquirements, processes, security practices, testing, deployment pipeline, DevOps team, whole testing team, testing processes in place, processes, processes, operational acceptance testing, OAT. Repeat, acceptability, scalability, DevOps team. I know I'm making this all sound very simple, but you shouldn't be there to fix that. No problem, no problem. Yes, goodbye.